Hi, I'm Pete from Project Heaven. Um, in this video, we're going to talk about tappet clearances. We're going to set up the tappet clearances on these Aston Martin V8 heads. First thing is we were given the heads fully disassembled, boxes apart. So we don't know where all the original shims would have gone, and they'll all be diff all of the clearances will be different anyway because we've lapped in the valves and uh, recut the seats. First of all, we'll just assemble everything and put the shims wherever, it doesn't matter at this stage. And then we'll measure the gap between the back of the cam lobe and the top of the tappet. Uh, the clearances should be 8 thou for inlet, 12 thou for exhaust. So we make a recording of all that. They'll be all over the place when, once we've done that. But what you'll know then is which ones need to be bigger and which ones need to be smaller, the clearances. Take the cams out, take the tappets out, measure all of the shims and then we'll then once you've got the shim thickness and you've got your uh, tappet clearance you can then figure out which ones you can move where to get to uh, 8 thou and 12 thou so once you've gone through that process a few times um, and you think you've got pretty close you've, you've nearly got 8 thou on all the inlets and 12 thou on all the exhausts um, you'll have a few that you still can't get quite right so what you'll have to do there is, if they're too uh, tight, then you can take that shim out and grind it. And that's what we're gonna do. Uh, but if you're unlucky and they're all too slack, then you'll have to buy new tappets that are thicker. We then install the shim into the shim holder. That gets placed into the grinding machine. We'll bring the shim up to the grinding wheel and then just kiss the face of it to know where we need to start from. The machine's incremented in one foul, so then we then go up foul at a time. And check with the mirror to make sure that we're getting an even grind on the surface of the shim. Now we've ground all the shims to the correct thickness. It's just a matter of a reassembly and a final check for the feeler gauge. Thank <laughs> you. 